hello hello everybody this is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts and today I have another unboxing for you all and today's unboxing is from Enablers Outpost this I'm super excited for this one is going to be Super Dragon uh, and this is by I think I believe it's Tori Nagate Art and it's a gorgeous gorgeous piece so I'm gonna go ahead and undo this plastic and go ahead and get this out of the box. I actually had somebody mention a really good way that she does it. She never takes the plastic completely off. She just slices it right there. And I'm like, that's a really good idea. I'm going to try that trick and see how it goes. So we're going to go ahead and break into this and I'm going to pull the canvas out and we're going to work on laying it out and getting it out here so we can break into this beautiful work of art and go from there. All right, so just off the bat, this does look like an upgraded canvas just from what I'm seeing from the last one that I have from them. So uh, as you guys know, I'm a texture person and this does have the, the creepy soft uh, feeling background, which I believe is an upgrade from uh, the last time I did an unboxing from them. So for all of you like creepy soft backing liking people, it has the creepy soft background. Uh, I'm a texture person, I don't like that creepy soft background. So for me, it's kind of like one of those creepy things. I do not, not a fan of. We're gonna go ahead and slide all of these goodies out of here. Oh my goodness, look at these drills, you guys. Oh my gosh. Sneaky peeky of all these drills. Woo! So, uh, and I believe they also have an upgrade, like a new toolkit from last time I did the unboxing. So basic toolkit, um, but it looks like a little bit of an upgrade to it. Ooh, a purple, purple um, tray, tray, that's what we're going for. So we've got some blue wax. Make sure you take the plastic off. Little purple squishy, blue pen. We've got some blue tweezers. Those are pretty, I like the blue tweezers. Good. Uh, with a little safety on them. You have a, probably a, yep, you got a seven placer and a floor, four placer and a really pretty star cover minder with looks like a decent sized magnet on it. And then this purple tray. So it looks like the unbranded, uh, same style. It looks like the same style as the Moss, Mossa trays, but unbranded. But that is going to be your basic toolkit, which is everything you need to get you started in your diamond painting journey. Um, definitely a lot better than a, a lot of the basic basic kits that you get and I like that that's pretty pretty cover minder all right now we're gonna go ahead and get into here so first off looking at this uh, canvas you've got that nice creepy soft background most 99% of people don't find it creepy I do texture thing um, branding on the top you see enablers outpost we're gonna kind of get a little sneak peek you've got some things right through here we're not gonna go fully into the image I kind of want to keep it like um, sneaky peeky. I don't even want to see it yet. Okay, this is what I was looking for right here. Ooh, this looks like an improvement here. Ooh, perfect size. I like the small. So this is on photo paper. Uh, here is Super Dragon by Tori Nagay Art. Uh, and this is a 50 by 110 centimeter canvas. So it is very tall. Um, so that is the image that we're going to be doing has 44 colors, two glow in the dark, two ABs. So four special drills and it is a square. So I'm, that's the one thing I'm like, ah, oh, squares. Why do all of these amazing canvases that I want to do have to come in squares? But I could not pass up this image. Uh, it was like perfect for me and my aesthetic of the style of art that I love, which is pretty much anything Asian uh that is what i love so here you can see we have our chart and uh, like i like this so this look like i'm looking forward to this it looks like a different type of uh, sticker sheet like uh upgraded with this photo paper that you see here very very clear symbols on this sticker sheet here um that we can see there on this photo paper you do have to cut them apart but that to me is no big deal um, some people like to take a photo of it, put it on there. We are going to kind of lay this out and look at our uh, colors. Uh, just that's the way I like to do it. If you don't want to look at them and you want to fast forward uh, right directly to everything, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, so you can see the baggies, the drill bags right there are labeled. Um, and it's labeled by the same thing as the box. And I think probably the same thing that's on 
a canvas. But we are gonna go ahead and break into these. I don't, they will go, ooh, look at that color. Uh, so we are gonna go into this box, this bag, not a box, it's a bag, first, and then we will break into the other bag. They'll go fairly quickly for these baggies since we are going to have a lot of color duplication considering the fact that we have so many colors. So we have 150, tiny bag. That's a very tiny bag of 150. We have 166. We have 211, two baggies, baggies of that. 307, pretty yellow. 318, 350, 341. I'm gonna kind of put that back in order. Um, and I like that they have them labeled, so they go in the order. 371. So some of these you can see are just going to be a little bit of an accent. And then some of them we're going to have a lot of. 413, this nice gray that you see there. 414, right there. And then we go into this 500 that you can see right there. And then we've got 550. This is a small bag of 550. I've had some canvases where 550 is basically your background color. 606, ooh, I'm used to 666, not a 606. Uh, 613, nice tan. And then we're gonna go into this 701, nice green. 740, we're gonna have two baggies of 740, uh, which is gonna be a popular color in this kit, is the 740 here. Uh, I like that they're labeled 17, so you know which order they are as you work your way through. 780, so this nice brown. And then we're gonna go into 782, boom, right there. 791, nice blue, and then 792. So we're gonna have some nice shades as we transition. Then we roll into 797. Doesn't look like any static in these so far, so that's good. 798, 799. I like to kit up by DMC number, so this will be nice. Uh, 800, I like that color big bag of that 801 now we're gonna break into our second bag and this is where we're gonna have a lot of our duplicates and that's a big bag of drills like once I find where the uh, edges there it is we have Four, four bags of 820, this purplish blue. Four big old baggies of that. That's gonna be a popular color. One bag of 823, then we go into 834, 902, 906. I love my greens, which I don't. Yeah, and then we're gonna go into 939. We got two baggies of 939 right there. Then we roll into our 955. Now we've got our 972, uh, and I'll put down in the bottom where you can fast forward to if you've watched this long, but I will put it, wow, look at this, five massive baggies of 995. We're in the home stretch, y'all, home stretch. 996, 3743, pretty color there, big old bag of it. 3801, small baggie, 3821, and then we're gonna roll into our 3858, 3864. Then we've got our special drills, our AB304, that's a pretty red. Our AB318, ooh, gray. I haven't seen an AB gray before. And then we've got our glow in the dark. Ooh, that's a pretty blue. This is gonna be this uh, 43 and then a wide glow G012 and this yellow, this glow in the dark yellow. So those are gonna be our two glow in the dark drills. Those are our four special drills. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and flip this sucker over and take a look at the canvas, which is the part everybody is waiting for. Oh, and then we'll see where these special drills go on this beautiful canvas that I haven't even seen yet. That's what I'm wanting to see. Let's go ahead and take a look All at right. it. All right, now we are going to go ahead and work, turn this over and take a look at it. So this beautiful piece, oh my goodness. All right, I should probably roll this back a little bit. 
I'm super excited to take a look at it. This is my first time. I, I don't cheat, you guys. I don't take a look at these ahead of time. I wait and actually take my first glimpse when I do these unboxings. Uh, and this is going to be such a big one that we're going to, I'll take some photos and show, like, when I'm done, I'll put a photo of the full image on here. All right. Oh, we're going to take a look at the top of this. Ooh, so this is the top. Oh my goodness. Look at how beautiful that is. This is super dragon. Love the colors. It's got a nice balance. We've got some color blocking up at the top. We're just going to work our way down because this is such a big canvas. So this is going to be square. So this is going to look glorious when it's rendered. So big kits like this, I think are going to turn into like big projects for me. And I'll have a big project going uh, and then a small projects that I work on in between times. But look at how beautiful this is. Symbol clarity is glorious. Oh, okay. I was like, I looked at it. I'm like, what in the world? Why are there no symbols? Okay. Those are the glow in the dark drills have no symbols. And I'll go, I'll go, go over that when I look at it close up. Look at this. She is beautiful. He, she, it, the dragon. Oh my goodness. I mean, look at it. It just keeps going and going and going but there's going to be such depth of color you think it's just going to be solid blue but it's not because we have all of the shades yes there's a lot of blue and there's going to be a, a fair amount of color blocking with all of these shades that we see right through here but there's still going to be some confetti in here and then the detail look at it as we get down oh my gosh that's gonna be gorgeous all right i'm gonna kind of turn this sideways so we can get at least some of it in a little bit better with it turned sideways. It's not gonna get all of it because it's such a massive, try to zoom us out a little bit. There we go. See if I take us out a little bit and we'll get most of it in like this. Cause now you can get the width. Cause again, this is a 50 by 110. So you can get most of it in. You can get all the way from the head down to the tail. Like, look how big that is as I come down, like that to there. There is all the way to the bottom of the image and you can't even see, like that cuts off up at the mouth. That, and I have my camera on like wide angle zoomed out right now <laughs> to try to show this. And that, that much of the image that we don't even see, which is probably a good like 30, so 30 centimeters. Boom, so that's like, I can only fit like 90 centimeters in this image, but look at that, that's glorious. All right, we're gonna go ahead and kind of leave it wide like this, so we can kind of get a view. And we're gonna take a look at these ABs. So, well, let's take a little tour of the canvas. I didn't even go over to that. Well, let's do that first. So, I remarked on the top where you have Enablers Outpost, uh, their logo and branding right there. You have the logo or the legend off to the side, very clear symbols very easy to read. You also have another legend as I make a mess of my desk over to the side right here with the actual art right there that you can see. And then down here at the bottom, uh, you can see there is Enablers Outpost website. There's their Instagram as well. Uh, and then you can also see right here, there it is, Super Dragon by Tori Negate Art. So that way you can see um, what you're getting. And the canvas, like I said before, has the creepy soft backing. And then you also have the um, surged and poked edges so that way you don't have to worry about any kind of frame. Now let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to kind of focus on this top part. Well, since there's so much of it, let's go ahead and turn us back this way and kind of get, oh, yeah, let's go ahead and come back to here, zoom in a little bit so you don't have to see just my leggies going on there. We'll kind of come back like this. And we'll come down a little bit so you guys can see. And we're gonna take a little bit of this glare off. You guys don't need as much of that glare with the plastic. And that way we can take a look at this canvas and look at our drills. So we have four special drills we're gonna be looking at with this bad boy. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so first 41, 42, 43, and 44. These are our special drills. So 41, this is gonna be the symbol D, and this is this one right here. 
and D, I kind of figured it was going to be with these reds. And it's going to be actually interspersed throughout the canvas. Um, but you're going to see the D right here. You can see we have D's right there. That's going to be the red right there. That's some D's. Also, you're going to see some of that AB interspersed anywhere that we have um, this red. You'll see a couple D's kind of interspersed, splattered right around in there. Same thing up along this line here. If we look closely up along, I'm going to bring this up so you guys can see. If we look up in here, up in the top, you see how we have a lot of D's right up in here? So, uh, uh, as I go smacking into my camera, try not to do that. But look up in here. We have all these D's up in here. I'm trying to not hit my camera. So we've got D's right up in here. We've got some D's there. Come over in here. You have some more D's there. You have D's there. And you have D's all along. So pretty much anywhere, there's this whole line of red kind of outlining these edges and that happens pretty much as I look at this that happens all the way down the the dragon including down to here and you have that D all the way down towards the bottom of the canvas anywhere that there's red there's some D interspersed in there <sighs> Elizabeth's gonna laugh at me anytime I say D I can I can imagine what her mind is saying when I say that uh, I know exactly what's going through her head right now but that is our 41 AB. Now we've got 42 and that's this gorgeous gray. And I am like loving that AB right there. I love me some gray tones. Uh, and this right here is going to be the symbol X. And this one is going to be interspersed. Again, it's going to be interspersed throughout the canvas. Let me look. Let me look. We're going to see this actually interspersed in each of these rings that we see right here. There's some X's right interspersed right through here. So let me go ahead and bring you up so you can kind of see that. So any any of these dark areas that we see right here, you can see how there's some X's right there. So just a little smattering. You see those X's? Each one of these little lines, you have a few X's splattered right in there. There's a couple X's, X, X, do, 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 do. Just a few kind of splattered and scattered. Uh, for each one of these lines. So that's going to help to accent and add a little shimmer to like these scale, the belly scales of this dragon. So that's going to be really pretty. That's going to be a nice little accent there. All right, now our glow in the dark drills. So we've got this really pretty glow in the dark blue. And these actually look pretty nice. Uh, and what you can see is these drills are kind of see through. Same thing with this like really crazy vibrant, like it feels like it's fluorescing in my hand drill that you see right here. These two drills, they have no, they like they're basically see-through. So when you look at them, you can see there is no real symbol to them. So when you look at this, it's just gonna be this color. And when I looked at this canvas initially, I was like, wait, do I, am I missing some symbols on my canvas? No, no, that's actually for these glow-in-the-dark drills. So anywhere on the canvas that you see, like right up in here, those spots are all going to be for glow-in-the-dark drills. So where you see no symbol, that's going to be the glow-in-the-dark yellow, that's going to be the glow-in-the-dark blue, yellow, blue. And it's going to be all of these stripes that you see in the background, so that's going to be like this whoosh of glow-in-the-dark drill. And then as you come down, these stripes behind the dragon, this whoosh of glow-in-the-dark, whoosh of glow-in-the-dark. And there's going to be some non-glow-in-the-dark, of course, accenting around it. But those whooshes, whoosh, glow-in-the-dark. Glow-in-the-dark, whoosh. Same thing down here. Whoosh of glow-in-the-dark. So that is going to be really neat. I am, like, looking forward to that. This is going to be fascinating. Uh, glorious and gorgeous. Super excited for this. This is going to be a gorgeous kit. Uh, super stoked. These are our special drills. This yellow glow in the dark, blue glow in the dark, these two 8Bs, which is gonna be a nice little splattering. Uh, and I'll have to look, I don't have a lot of square um, specialty drills, but depending on how it looks, cause I like to actually do the special drills first. So I may, but this is so big, I don't know how I'll do like working this one up. I may work this one up first with the special drills and then decide from there, do I need to add any extra bling or is it gonna be good with just what I, 
with what it's charted with because you know sometimes you want to do the the kit as it's charted and sometimes you want to add some extra bling i may decide it doesn't need any extra bling because we got all the bling we need but let's go ahead and do a quick run through of super dragon which is this incredible incredible one i may decide that i need to add a little bit of an ab i can kind of see myself adding some ab right around here on the back of the dragon that's about what i can see myself adding some ab to would be right in here uh maybe on this yellow right here maybe some crystals right in there uh some crystals right in this area and some um ab right there or some crystal ab's along these scales i could see myself doing that on some of these scales we'll see when i work on it what i decide to do um but i would have to get the drills for it because i do not have those drills but yes so this is super dragon by tori negate art uh amazing amazing kit i am super excited to work on it i think this is fast like a fascinating like beautiful beautiful image and i could not pass it up i mean it is incredible i am super excited to actually work this up and see how it turns out oh, super amazing love it love it love it and i hope you guys check out the art that they have on there and see what you guys think if you like dragons um and you like actual asian style dragons check this one out all right you guys i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go i will see you guys in the next video hope you have a guys have a great day Bye.